Hey guys and welcome back to Gainesville Homes Daily. Hope everybody's having a great week so far. So um, we've got a large list of homes to get through this Friday. Um, an onslaught of homes that are coming on for the weekend rush here. Obviously, many of you have, have noticed that things are starting to heat back up. A lot of more properties are coming on in the winter than would normally. Um, and I think what that you know really means to me is, is that a lot of people are just trying to get their homes sold so they can potentially um, you know beat this spring rush and be able to find something going into the spring their their move up home or the home that you're looking to live in for an extended period of time time 10 15 20 years down the road so I think many people got their heads above water now and are anxious to get their home on the market, get it sold, and move on to bigger and better things. And that's great. Um, we've had huge increases in the price of home in, in the Gainesville, Haymarket, and Bristow areas. Uh, and that's great that I'm glad that people are finally in positions that they can finally get out of their home and move on to the home of their dreams. Uh, so the first one today is 14404 Whole Fish Way. Looking in the Green Hill Crossing subdivision, it's a townhome, one car garage. 318,000 standard sale, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. It's a large townhome, guys. A lot of square footage here. 2,772 total square feet. So there's bump outs on pretty much every level. And to have a townhome that's close to 3,000 square feet is awesome. And for people that are looking for low maintenance, so you have a little bit of a yard, but not like you would a single family, um, and less than 325,000, this is definitely worth the look. Um, as you can see here, here's the basement area. It's a huge area, powder room, some built-ins. Here's the, the kitchen. It looks like white appliances. We have a tile backsplash and granite countertops. Some bright colors throughout. Some, some of the pictures are kind of fuzzy, so you're not really getting the full effect of the space. Um, you can see the bump out in the master bedroom, which goes all the way over there to the sitting area, and then the master bathroom door that you can see there. I think, you know, if, if with better photos, this house would show much better than what it does here um, in, in, the, in these pictures. The deck is huge. It spans from one side of the house to the other. Perfect for entertaining. Here's a playground over in a Green Hill Crossing. This um, HOA is $94 a month. Um, I think for the square footage alone, I think that this one's definitely worth looking at. Um, many people want space, and this offers tons of space. 13202 Triple Crown Loop. This is located in Heritage Hunt. This is a three-bedroom, three-full bath, two levels. It's uh, 2,323 square feet. So the um, there is no basement. They're both above grade. Um, we have 434,900. This is an active adult community, so only 55 years of age and older can buy in here. Um, I think that you know, you've got vinyl siding and stone from the outside. It's got a nice curb appeal with a two-car garage. Um, Heritage Hunt is a very desirable um, active adult community. Most people are trying to live here because of all the amenities, the clubhouse, the pools, the tennis courts. We've mentioned that before on some of our other videos. Here's the entryway to the home. Um, some bolted ceilings, gas fireplace, carpet pretty much throughout there. Granite countertops, pretty standard builder grade oak cabinets in the kitchen with white appliances. Some people like white, some people don't. It's easy to switch out. Here's the basic bathroom with basic builder grade um, tile it looks like. Doesn't look like there's been that many updates or upgrades to this house. Pretty standard stuff here. The lot's just over an eighth of an acre. Pretty open floor, floor plan though, for the most part. Um, for this square footage, 2,323 square feet on two levels. I think it's priced reasonably. Um, I think that uh, majority of these houses have been selling close to 400 and over closer to 450 if they've got two levels and more square footage. Um, so I think that it's priced reasonably. Once again, I think that there is a little bit of inventory over there in Heritage Hunt, so you can kind of take your pick. But this is a two-level home. Um, for those of you looking for a little bit of extra space and don't want the one-level living, this is definitely one that you should probably pay attention to. Uh, 7655 Hamlin Lane, located in the Wentworth Green subdivisions, 549,900. This home was built in 2013, um, so it is a relatively young house. 4,080 total square feet with 2,720 square feet on the main two levels. Um, we've got a two-car garage, as you can see here, nice brick front. Um, we'll see here, the, there's a gourmet kitchen which we'll get to here in a second, but you got kind of step up and step into these rooms, the hardwood floors, and then you got carpet, the dining room with the tray ceiling there. Here's the kitchen. Granite, black appliances, and stainless. 
blows through to the family room over here, which you step down into. So since th this elevation of this lot, um, from which you can see, you had to step up into the house, step up and step down. There's a lot of stepping up and stepping down. For those of you that like, you know, one open concept floor plan where you're not having to step up and down, this might not be the house for you. Um, but, you know, it's decent square footage and it's brand new, essentially. So I think that's where the price tag of the 550 is coming in. Still might be a little steep considering the um, basement looks to be, it says fully finished, but it doesn't appear to be fully finished. Pretty flat backyard, which is uh, sits on 0.161. I'm going to say that, you know, there's probably a better, some better options out there at this price point. No deck, no patio. Um, basement's not doesn't look completely finished to me. Uh, at 550,000, I, I feel like we could probably find a little bit more bang for the buck. However, it is almost essentially brand new. So for those of you wanting pretty much brand new, seeing less potential problems, um, it, it might be worth a look. 5701 Wheelwright Way is located in Dominion Valley Country Club subdivision, 474,900. It's a carriage home, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. It's on just over an eighth of an acre. It's brick and siding with a two-car garage. I will go through some of the pictures here. Hardwood floors, some vaulted ceilings, black appliances, oak cabinets, some granite countertops. There's the sunroom with some vaulted ceilings there as well. Lots of natural light from the windows. Total square footage on this is 2,848 with an unfinished basement. Close to 500,000, um, I would assume, maybe, does this have some views of the golf course? I don't know, we'll get some of the pictures here in a second. Vaulted ceilings in the master bedroom. Here is the deck off the back. Um, if that's the view of the golf course, um, then that would make sense with the price being a little bit higher. If not, uh, I think that you might be able to find a little bit better for this price considering this is a carriage home. Um, next one is... 6839 Noise Avenue in Haymarket, South Market, 579,900 total square footage, 3162 with an unfinished basement. Uh, this was built in 2011. It sits on just under a quarter acre lot, brick front from the outside, two car garage. Um, I, we'll go through some of the pictures here. It's got a covered porch area deck that steps down here. Very nice uh, to have that feature of the home with a nice, looks like stamped concrete bat patio down below. Nice open floor plan, carpet pretty much it looks like throughout majority of the house, granite countertops, some cherry cabinets, houses have never been you know up into this range, with an unfinished basement I feel like you might be able to find um, Maybe something uh, just a little bit more complete, more upgrades with the finished basement at that price level. Just my opinion. 14635 Celeste Court, Haymarket is located in the Piedmont subdivision. 464900 is the sales price. Standard sale, Colonial, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. It's on 0 0.206 of an acre, two car garage. Um, we've got, let's see here, total living space of 2197 with a fully finished basement. So you're probably a little over 3,000 square feet. No pictures to go off of right now. Um, hard to say value-wise without seeing the pictures whether I feel like this price could be a touch high um, for what else I've, I've seen in the Haymarket Gainesville area. Next one, 8725 Ellis Mills Drive, Gainesville, 649900 standard sale, five bedrooms, four and a half baths, sits on almost a third of an acre, it's final siding and stone on the outside, built in 2011, fully finished basement, 5,188 total square feet, sits on a corner lot, um, two-story ceiling and stone fireplace. No pictures to take right now, so it's kind of hard to judge, once again, um, the valuation of this home without seeing some of the pictures to see what's in, on the inside, what's been updated and renovated. But we'll follow up on this one, see when they come back with some pictures. 7008 Rogue Forest Lane and Green Hill Crossing, another one that we reviewed in the, in the same subdivision. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, listed at 290000 It's got a three-level bump out. It's 1,680 square feet with a fully finished basement, so it's probably a little over 2,300 square feet. Interior unit. Carpet throughout. Now you remember the other one was priced up in like the 320 range, and this one's uh, 290. Looks like a lot less updates, less square footage. The other one was almost like 2,700 square feet, um, so that's why it's priced a little bit less, and really not the updates there. 2515 Youngs Drive, last one located in Bull Run Mountain Haymarket, REO Bank Owned Foreclosure Property at 269,900, 1,764 square feet. 
with a fully finished basement, so it's probably pushing over 2,000. Um, it's got almost an acre lot, which is nice. This is located off of Log Mill Road, off of Route 15, and then it left on Young's Drive. Some terrific potential at this price point on this house. Three bedrooms, three three baths, and almost an acre at 270,000. We don't have any pictures, but there's a two-car garage there. Uh, and with an acre, I think it's definitely worth a look. So we've got a large list of homes today, guys, trying to fly through them to get them all in. If you have any questions regarding any of these or any of the other homes that we've reviewed over the last week and like to take a look at them this weekend, call me or my team at 703-596-0011 or, as, as always, go to GainesvilleHomesDaily.com. Have a fantastic weekend, guys. We'll be back with you next week.